In this lecture, we will be covering the role of a tester in an agile team. The learning objective here is to understand the role of a tester within an agile team. This is marked as K2. Let's see the role of the agile tester in an agile team. The first point is related to test strategy, understanding, implementing, and updating the test strategy. Here, with respect to test strategy, the role of the tester is to understand the test strategy and then implement it. And if required, he then has to update the test strategy based on the current testing situation. The next point is related to testing, measuring and reporting test coverage across all applicable coverage dimensions. Here, the tester has to perform testing on the assigned feature and once the testing is done, they have to provide the coverage report to the stakeholder. The third point is related to the tool. Ensuring proper use of testing tools, it is the responsibility of the tester that he has to ensure that the testing tools are used properly. The fourth point is about the test environment. Configuring, using, and managing test environments and test data. That means the role of the tester is to configure the test environment or use the test environment, or if required, he has to manage the test environment and test data. First is understanding, implementing, and updating the strategy. Second is performing the testing and providing the report. The third is ensuring that the tools are used properly. And the fourth point is he has to configure use and manage the test environment and test data. The fifth point is related to defect. That is reporting defects and working with the team to resolve them. As we know, the role of the tester is to find defects. And when the defect is found, it shall be reported effectively. And in the Agile project, the role or tester is not only to find the defect, but also to help the team remember to fix the defect. The sixth point is related to coaching, coaching other team members in relevant aspects of testing. In agile development, the tester can become a coach so that he can provide information to the other team member regarding the relevant aspect of testing. The next point is scheduling, ensuring the appropriate testing tasks are scheduled during release and iteration planning. The last point is related to the meeting. Here, tester participating proactively in team retrospectives, suggesting and implementing improvements. The fifth point is related to defects. The sixth point is related to coaching. The next point is scheduling. And the last point is meeting. Let's see a very important point. Within an agile team, each team member is responsible for product quality and plays a role in performing test-related tasks. You must know that in an agile project, tester is not only responsible for maintaining the quality, the entire team is responsible for it. In an agile organization, there is test-related risk. Let's see just a few of them. Since testers work so closely to the developers that they lose the appropriate tester mindset. Testers become tolerant of or silent about inefficient, ineffective, or low-quality practices within the team. Testers cannot keep pace with the incoming changes in time-constrained iteration. With this, the topic ends.